Durango 2500 series model 325 here at Haywood RV of Goldwater, Michigan. Pretty nice little used fifth wheel. Little being relative, obviously. Bigger than quite a few out there, smaller than some. Um, roughly the, uh, what's kind of fun about the Durango family is that little 2500 roughly indicates the general size of truck you're going to want to pull this thing. Um, a little more than I'd be comfortable putting on a half ton. Don't quite need a one ton for it, so 2500 makes sense, three quarter ton towable. Um, two big living room slides, uh, full bedroom slide out, good size fifth wheel, enclosed underbelly. Uh, I spotted a couple nice things. Four point leveling system, which is sharp. Um, and the, uh, the strong iron bracers here in the front jacks, that's something that somebody has added. And those will do wonders towards steadying your RV and your sight. So if you're kind of motion sensitive or something, you don't like getting seasick, perfect rig for you right here. Um, bigger water heater, not a six gallon vessel, uh, looks like a 10 gallon vessel. And I like the little screen cover on that water heater. You're going to see the same thing on the furnace. They, uh, they did some good preventative measures on this thing. Um, by the way, those strong arm stabilizers, those are on the rear jacks as well and again full leveling system on here uh, full uh, roof ladder there to get up to the roof to do your maintenance and whatnot all in all pretty uh, pretty nice clean piece here it looks like the spare tires never touch the ground spotting uh, a couple little points of corrosion on exposed steel that is normal on pretty much anything that has exposed steel that's just gonna happen you expose steel to water and air and rust is the chemical reaction um, power awning Looks to be in pretty good shape. Fabric looks pretty clean. There is an LED strip at the base of that awning as well. That looks to be added aftermarket, but they did a nice job of it. Um, front grilling station, I noticed too. I, I didn't look all the way through it yet. I don't know if there's a grill included with it or not. I generally assume if I don't see it, then no. But um, I could be pleasantly surprised. But uh, by and large, um, you know, it's uh, pretty, pretty good shape. You know, been used. Hasn't been beat up. A lot of good life left to it. Um, big windows here in this living room. Now, what's cool is this is an entertainment and kitchen slide. This is all big appliances that are shoved off the floor plan. So this is either electronics or tons of cabinet space that you're getting over here. Uh, for instance, let's get dug in. The refrigerator, this is an eight cubic foot instead of a six. So that's a bigger fridge that we have in here. And you can see that everything's still, I mean, glossy and shiny. Um, the, the obvious question is, well, if it's nice, why did they get rid of it? And long story short, they were horse enthusiasts, and they found themselves using, um, you know, this at horse shows more and more, and they got tired of hauling a two, a two RVs, a fifth wheel, then a, a, um, a horse trailer. So they traded this in on a living quarter horse trailer, if you're not familiar, that's a trailer that hauls horses and has like a camper in the front of it. Um, so they kind of had a two-in-one trailer at that point, and they didn't need to haul two trailers. So nothing wrong with it, just didn't quite fit their needs anymore. Um, max air fan here in the living room to give us some good airflow. Uh, along with our central air system, we also have the residential fan here that will help keep some air moving anytime you want. And over here in the entertainment section, I opened all this up so you can see all the good storage space going on. Lots of storage right here, just even in the entertainment section. Twin recliners. I like that there's outlets on the wall back there to make things easier to get to. Every window I see does open for ventilation, so that's a good thing. Um, you know, good extra storage above the chairs in the Mac as well. This looks like a airbed, hide bed I have not looked around. I don't know if the bladder is present, if it's working, how it works or anything like that. Meaning, you know, um, if it's in good working order. That's a good thing to check on. The good news is that if for some reason this is missing, I mean, literally like sixteen seventy four at Walmart will get you a brand new one. If that's a deal breaker, guys, if you're like, well... I'd have bought it, but it didn't have the airbed. Give us a chance. I bet we can fix that. That's just not a big deal. So along with the bigger fridge, we're also looking at the bigger 22-inch oven. And I like that they left room on both sides of the oven here. So you actually have a place to set hot stuff when you take it off the stove. Now here they gave you shelves, and here they did not. Because this is where you can put large cooking sheets. And this is where you can put little pots and pans. It's really smart how they put this kitchen together. And they actually gave you good size space on each side of the microwave as well. With power outlets back there, by the way, so you can actually run like a toaster and things like that. This is cool. This is a big pantry, and it's in the slide. It's not eating up floor space. And the storage comes to you instead of you coming to the storage. That's what's really cool about this right here. Now, these are working very nicely, so it tells me they were not overloaded. They did not overuse their cabinet space. And you have three of these big mega drawers down here, so you've got lots of storage space going on. I do like 
this um, the the level change on the cabinetry here. That's something I've always kind of been a, a, a sucker for. I do like that. Similar with this uh, wraparound peninsula countertop right here. And you notice we've got nothing but storage going on below the counter too. So this is a great fifth wheel if you just want to keep stuff packed to the gills. This is a good, good rig. Um, up here in the front bedroom, um, we've got, uh, I wanted to point out the fact that we have nice uh, pleated nightshades in every area of the uh, RV, both in the living room and the bedroom here. And all the uh, shades and everything seem to be in very good working order. A lot of used RVs, those shades get worked over and people don't restring them properly. That's not the case here. Again, even without the lights, nice and bright in here. This is a 50 amp RV. It does have a second air conditioner, both of which are centralized. So you do have some excellent, excellent airflow. You need a 50 amp site to use both ACs, but you can run this RV uh, with everything except the second air conditioner on a common 30 amp site. You just need a simple $9 adapter to do that. Not hard. I like the little corner here. This is a nice little either entertainment station, uh, office desk area. You know, anything you want it to be. Now, we have access to the bathroom in both the bedroom and the hallway. And I do want to point out, we have a queen bed in here now. However, if you wanted to delete the side uh, station over here, which is not difficult, you could put a king in here. So you do have that option still. They did build this floor plan with that in mind. Um, the, uh, the bathroom here is very big and spacious. You see you actually have leg room in here. If I stay in the middle of the bathroom, I cannot touch the walls. There's actually quite a bit of room between my hand and the wall there, and I'm a tall guy with long arms. Big standing shower, not a travel trailer tub, and giant mirror in here, spreading around plenty of light. All the storage space you need down here for your extra toilet paper and chemicals and everything. This is a great rig, guys. Like I said, they had no plans to get rid of this until they saw a, a one trailer that met two very different purposes for them here at Halitz. That's kind of a nice thing. If you're, if you have an RV, you want to buy a horse trailer. You have a horse trailer, you want to buy buy an RV, a car, a truck, anything in between. We can do all of that here. Hitching, financing, brakes, pieces, parts, trades, everything. We do everything in one spot because, frankly, this is supposed to just be easy. That's our goal. Make this kind of fun and easy for you. Because isn't camping supposed to be just about fun and easy? You know, too many people forget that. So give us a call. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Goldwater, Michigan. Thank you. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.